Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. It's Black Mercury here, bringing you another Halo commentary. Yay! And I'm bringing you Team Sniper's gameplay. It's like it gets owned, which is all luck for my part. Uh, 25 and 5 Sniper's gameplay on Hang 'em High, as that guy shouldn't be camping. Uh, don't you hate campers? I hate campers. I really don't like Team Snipers to begin with. First of all, especially on these kind of maps, where it's so big that you can't really see people. I don't know. It's not as worse as, uh, whatchamacallit, what's that map, the Halo 2 map, the, the only thing you play on it is, um, snipers, what is it, what is it, what is it, I can't remember, but it's 3 on 4, um, it's me, Shy Hunter Zach, and one other person, some random person, and, uh, you know, we do pre pretty well, uh, people we played against were all in a party, so, and they were all pretty high level, they were all pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, but, you know, this didn't match up in, um, Team Snipers. And, uh, I'm gonna be honest here, guys. I am not good at sniping whatsoever. You guys, you guys, and you've seen any of my past gameplays, I am not good. And I have, uh, I get lucky in this gameplay. Usually I do really, really bad at snipers. But when everyone has snipers, I do, I do pretty decent. But when it's me having a sniper only, yeah, I get myself in trouble. I like the sniper, and I like the idea of having a one-shot, as that guy should have died. I want to get that guy and clean him up, but uh, snipers for me is nah, not the best, and I wish I could be good. Sniper's my favorite weapon in every single game, as uh, you kind of tell in Counter-Strike when I only use the sniper, and I like it. Um, and uh, to me, just the, uh, check out a montage clip right there, check out the, the bounce snipe again. Um, but to me, just the idea of a one-shot is uh, so good. And, Ever since I played uh, my first FPS, uh, the sniper just intrigued me to no end. You know, I, I like I like <laughs> montage clip again. I like having rockets. You know, it's like a one-hit kill, pretty much no matter what, like that. But the satisfaction you get when you get a no scope or when you get like a headshot, just I don't think it can be beat. I love it so much, and uh, I just hope I can get better at sniping. Uh, it's easier to snipe in Halo Reach, and uh, hopefully I can continue to do better. Um, cause, uh, I never really, I was okay at sniping in Halo 3, um, but in this game I know it's easier and a lot of people are like, Max, you suck, and blah 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 at sniping, um, but the few gameplays that you guys have seen me snipe, thanks, uh, for limiting the amount of times you say you suck at sniping. No one's always said that, but I know not everyone you guys is thinking it. Uh, but yeah, but that's not really what I want to talk about today, uh, sniper-wise. I want to talk about Bungie in general. I know I kind of talked about it in the Counter-Strike gameplay, but I want to kind of go into more depth with it. Um, so, so, so since Halo Reach and you know, all, uh, Bungie has no longer had the rights to Halo. And what have they done? They've done Bungie Aerospace. And look, uh, when you look when you look back at Bungie, the past like two years before they uh, were before they lost the rights to Halo, they weren't doing very well. They came out with three games in two years, and those three games were, you know, obviously Halo Reach was the final one, and then you had uh, Halo Wars and Halo ODST. And to me, Halo ODST was just something that they could market to get all the Halo map packs uh, to people. I mean, the only reason why I bought ODST was because I could take off... Uh, all the stuff on my hard drive, all the DLCs that I bought for Halo 3 on the hard drive, and one and get one of the DLCs that I haven't had yet. And uh, to be personally honest, ODST was the biggest fail. The only thing that you can actually do with it is firefight. And let's be honest here, who really wants to play just firefight in the Halo game? You played 50 bucks or whatever it was for firefight and all the Halo 3 maps. Was it worth it? Mm, probably not, but Bungie got away with it. Halo Wars didn't even pick it up. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people said it was bad, and if I was going to play RTS, I would just go play StarCraft 2. Um, I'm not really a big RTS player to begin with. If I'm going to play like a strategy game, I'm going to play like a turn-based strategy game like Risk or Civilization, uh, even though Civilization takes fucking forever to do. My roommates and I had a Civilization game, and it was on for three hours, and I was like, okay, we're done. Because uh, you can't pause Civilization games. If you could do that, it'd be awesome. And uh, I didn't know how I didn't. I don't know how I didn't see this guy all the way back here. 
watching the gameplay again, I was like, wow. And then he gets no-scoped from point-blank range. But yeah, that's one thing. Uh, if you guys want to get better, uh, I thought that guy was a hologram, to be personally honest. He ran by me, and he's even turned around. I don't know what he was trying to do. Maybe give me a free kill. Thanks, sir. But one thing I always do to get better, besides like asking you guys, is I always like watch my gameplays over and over again. Ones I do good, and I see like what I did right, what I did wrong, and uh, that's just always helped me. And, uh, that n one of the reasons why uh, that helped me is because it helped me slow down the gameplay. It'll help me to realize that I slow down my gameplay. And man, that got me off topic. Go back, back to Bungie. So Halo Reach was a fail, or Halo ODST was a fail. Halo Wars wasn't even worth buying for office reasons like StarCraft. And then we come to Halo Reach. Halo Reach in itself is a fun game. It was really fun. At first I liked it more than Halo 3. But then people started using Armor Lock and all this other stuff. And I'm like, okay, Armor Lock sucks. Jetpack can get annoying sometimes. Active Camo, yeah. After Active Camo, yeah. I think Active Camo was a stupid idea. I like picking up power-ups and it just screws me even more because you get the, all the little jumbled stuff and I know that even if you jumble it all up and the person's right in the middle of the screen um, so I don't know why they even put it in there um, and then the overshield they took out overshield too and I was like uh, they went away from the core of Halo and now they just do nothing um, they screwed up the past three years I thought that was a guy Halo, after Halo 3, after Halo 3, Bungie has screwed up the whole entire series, and personally, honest, uh, I think they deserved it to uh, not control Halo anymore, even though they uh, weren't allowed to because they broke off, and you know they're like, we want to do our own thing, and yet they did nothing. They made Bungie Aerospace, which is no nice thing, but that should be a sideshow, be a sideshow of a sideshow. Um, I'm not trying to, uh, you know. Uh, be like, oh, small gaming company shouldn't have a chance to get big. But if all you have to show was that little pirate game, uh, come on, guys, you're a huge, huge player in the uh, video game world, and you can't come up with an IP. I say if you don't come up with an IP by next year's E3, I don't know why you're in a gaming company anymore. They, they would just disappoint me. Bungie is my favorite gaming studio. I mean, look what they did with Halo. They, they freaking made F they revolutionized FPSs. They were the king of FPSs and shooters in general for the longest time until Call of Duty came around, and it looks like their balls has dropped off. And um, hopefully, uh, 343 Studios can regain the edge. And uh, yeah, and that's all I can really hope for. Is uh, cause Bungie is no longer. I get assassinated by a Vizzo guy. No. Ugh. Boo. Ha. Ugh. I'm getting so pissed off getting all these ch uh chest shots. I realized in uh Hail Reach and what is that guy doing? Seriously, you're out in the open and you're crouching there like a dumbass. Whew. You're dumb. Um. So yeah, that's that's all I really have to say about the Bungie uh, little thing and that's the last time I'm going to mention Bungie and their failing in a commentary unless for some reason they do something really stupid or really cool um, because when generally I don't know what to do with you guys um, because look at all the other gaming studios that have made strides Epic Games that been awesome Infin oh, let's look at all the people that's also screwed up Infinity Ward also screwed up no one likes Modern Warfare 3 um, or I just say a lot of people don't like Modern Warfare 3 uh, the clusterfuck spawns and all this other stuff seriously I bought Modern Warfare 3 I'm about to cash it back in I'm about to buy uh, I don't know try our game so look at all these gaming studios that have screwed up in the past few years Bungie screwed up um, Fanny Ward screwed up who's gonna screw up next do you think uh, Epic Games might I don't know Epic Games has been really good, and Gears of War series has been awesome. They come out with awesome content as I get lucky there. Look at that. I was like, oh god, guys, gonna assassinate me. Turn around. Whew, I was lucky. Uh, but yeah, gaming series in general, just, uh, I don't know, I don't know if they've been sellouts, or they're just trying to appeal to the casual gamer. 
it seems. Uh, you know, Bungie tried to make it easier for people to get into Halo by offering armor abilities, and um, Vinny Ward made it easier with death streaks. And so I think a lot of gaming studios are going away from the core gamer. Uh, you know, that's what Nintendo did when they made all the crappy third-party games, or they didn't make them. They produced them, and they didn't really, they didn't really have anything to show as the Mario games, which I did a montage clip there. Um, but yeah. And right now I had 23 kills and I only had one, two kills left and I was like, okay, I gotta get these final kills. And um, so I have 48 kill. I have 23 kills and there's 48 left, so I have to get the last two kills to get 25. That guy was a bounce snipe. That was freaking awesome if he did that. That'd be an epic montage clip. So I'm hustling right now trying to find the final kill. Uh, and I get it. The guy's been Black Mercury. Hope you got the gameplay as I should have got that headshot right there. And uh, comment, subscribe, like the video. Tell me uh, criticism and I'll talk.